Hello and welcome to this edition of Big Sky 35 Cards, where tonight I'm just going to go over some mail, some th I went to a small little card show, wasn't all that great, and visited a card shop that was semi in that area, I guess. It was a little bit of a drive to get to that one, I've been to it before. But let's take a look and see what I got. Hello and welcome to Big Sky 35 Cards, where I'm just going to go over uh, some mail and and uh, went to a card show Saturday. Uh, really, five tables. Uh, it was really hard to even say it was card show, <laughs> a large card shop maybe. A um, couple of vendors. I have more than what they had. Uh, really wasn't impressed. I've been I went to it last year and said I wouldn't go to it again, but. You know, after the national, you kind of get that itch, and I went to it, and yeah, so I ended up driving about 40 minutes to another card shop, and uh, got some pickups from there. So uh, let's go over what I got from that card shop. I bought a pack of Chronicles Hobby. Uh, like I said, three weeks without buying a box. And this store, that's what they do is they sell boxes and packs, but they also got a dollar and boxes and some cheap stuff there and I'll go over that in a minute but my head out of it was this Mitch Keller numbered out of 50 Panini Red so and it's a sticker auto which you know that's a little bit higher end product I wish Panini would step up their game with that you know you're already not licensed best you, you should do a little bit better with that uh, so next, uh, they did, like I said, have some dollar boxes and stuff. Uh, and if you bought like three, you got them three, was, I forget, three for two or something like that. But they had hockey. So I just went in and got some, picked up some Alex Ovechkins and uh, some Nicholas Backstrom's. That was the only two name players they had in it um i was looking for some tom wilson's they didn't even have any of those in there i didn't go into their quarter boxes they had those two they had a whole wall full of stuff that's what i like about that store is they still have all the the boxes of cards so you can really fill out a a uh, collection that way so next off I got I went through some baseball stuff and picked up worked on my PC of Gary Carter's I told y'all this is what I'm gonna be doing uh, this one's actually numbered to a hundred or 199 I mean uh, so these I did not have and of course this is a different number I've got this one numbered as well but uh, you know what I said why not have a second one uh, Howard Johnson is one of my favorite Mets of all time so I do not have that I, I don't PC him so much but you know when I see something like this I tend to pick it up um, this is my first Howard Johnson pickup I've got in a long time and this isn't numbered or any oh it is numbered I'm sorry 219 uh, I've never seen this card before and I don't have a lot of 90s stuff because I was uh, a poor 20-something year old trying to make his way in the world. So when it comes to that, and of course David Wright, he's my second favorite Met of all time. And Daryl Strawberry, rookie card. So I got all of those. I think they were $2 for... 
He gave me th six of them for three dollars, and I was real happy. This was a really nice little top to bottom issue centering, um, but man, it looked really, really good. And that's one that's going to probably be going to my stack of PSA to be graded. And then, you know, I'm working on, I got a University of Virginia PC. Saw at the National, I bought a whole box of uh, Virginia players. And they did not have this player in there. Uh, but I got an autograph of this player. It's not the best autograph in the world. It's number 33 out of 5,000. Uh, I've never seen this product before. I don't even know. It says down here, Dream Picks GA or something like that. So, genuine autograph, I guess. And it's Tiki Barber, University of Virginia. Um, got a really well off the sticker price of this because it's probably been sitting in their case forever waiting on a Virginia guy to come pick it up since I'm in the Midwest. The guy asked me where I was from. And I, I was wearing a Virginia hat, so I said, I'm from Virginia, but I live in Iowa now, so. So that was a really nice find there. I mean, not a lot. That's one of those where, you know, means a lot more than a price tag to me. Uh, Tiki Barber, not only a great player for Virginia, a great person. Uh, from what I know, I don't know him personally, but from what I've seen. Then at the card show, I went, first table I went to, I only place that really had a box with cards in it to go through rest of the didn't really have any boxes at it it was either uh, just a bunch of stuff um, or just cards thrown into a uh, you know a case not very good not not very well presented there but this guy had a box and they were in alphabetical order um, so I'm trying to pick up as many of this guy's first cards that I can and he had them priced and this was the other thing I the book he had on book valued and he goes I'll start off at a half price the more you buy the better the deal so this stack that I want to show you I got for 20 bucks uh, and then I went straight to David Wright's because I knew in that box he wouldn't have any of the other guys I really look for and actually I didn't have I don't think any of these David Wrights so this one was numbered to 60 I have this but I don't have this version the same way the prism I think I might have this prism but I needed uh, another card to get the $20 deal so um, got a swatch down there and I do believe I have this but just not the same you know not not a, it's not the same material um, and I like these gypsy queens materials did not have this one clubhouse collection heritage got a nice stripe in there pinstripe I really like that one and I picked up some new man perfect fits from perfectfit.com I believe it is man I really like these I, I need to put another one on this one I didn't do a good job of putting this one on but another material card and and you see I got a new background today Gary Carter autograph 8x10 uh, the guy was offering 50 I got him down to 40 still feel like I paid maybe a little bit over but he's not going to autograph anymore uh, he's passed away now for a while so this will be great for my Gary Carter PC he's as you know I've talked about it before if you haven't seen the video of me yet I'm a huge Gary Carter fan um, he's one of the five PCs I have and then I do uh, Mets all together and then within the Mets I have certain players I look for um, and I really like Mets 80s and early 90s players. And then the next guy, this will be along with my Mets. I got this Conforto. I got a good deal on this. Uh, 
the casing of it. I might have to put in a new case. The more I look at it, it drives me crazy. It was in a uh, sleeve, but man, it was... I looked at it. I took it out of the sleeve because the case was so scratched up and this being a chrome card I wanted to make sure it was the case and not the card um because the deal the price he was giving me the card looks really really good um he kept going well if you get it graded it'll be a 10 well I doubt it's a 10 I I would say it's a 9 um I took my little thing out to get out a better look uh, my little jeweler's eye and uh edges are a little rough uh, it might be a 10 um, but this is a definite candidate later it won't go into my must be now because this is a PC I like Conforto he's one of the guys I look for for Mets players so that was it like I said for the uh, card show and going to the shop the shop was better than the show um, as when I was at the card shop, they did a Facebook Live memor leaf memorabilia case. I watched them open up a box, a, a large box, and it had a DeGrom auto. I was trying to get that from whoever won it. Uh, a Pele autograph 8x10, an actress's 8x10, Seagal girl that said Sons of Anarchy. Um, one more thing in there and I can't remember what it was it was two jerseys and I can't think of what the other jersey is uh, but anyway oh um, Geis it was an LSU jersey signed so it wasn't you know it wasn't great but it was alright for me having the DeGrom was, was good but I'm glad I didn't pay for it um, for the box next off would be uh, Mail uh, Tops Now this is the only one I have Robinson Cano oldest second baseman history with three home runs and I saw this came in orange and I don't I gotta look to see if that's the way it's supposed to be or I got a specialty print I, I've never seen it with the uh, orange on there like that I have to look at that uh, Bartolo Colon 150 years May 7 2016 oldest, oldest player to hit his first career home run <laughs> greats of the game and I don't mean as a player, but as a just a person of the game. What what I don't want to call him a clown, but man, he's he's great. He's very entertaining. Joey Gallo, and I got two sets of these, and I don't know how. I must I must be clicking on a button twice. Uh, and I got these before I decided to change up. I really, I was trying to get the rookies off of this and guys that I like. So, Joey Gallo was the third one. If you buy two of them, you get the third one for free, basically. So, I got him. But I wanted this card the most. Dansby Swanson, I really like him. He's a guy that I see in dollar boxes I pick up. Um, and I picked up and because John Means was a rookie. But... This one will probably be sent out to be sold along with the Gallo. And then of course, Star Wars leading up to the next movie. And then, man, it, I love this. The Living Set Star Wars, Ezra Bridger. I like that cartoon. It wasn't my favorite of the... Clone Wars, they're going to be coming out with a new season out when the Disney Channel um, starts up. Admiral Piat, Piat. Read some good articles on him in the Star Wars Quarterly. Very nice. Oh, and speaking of that, Star Wars and that card show, I did pick up one thing that wasn't a card. But this guy's seen this. I was missing this one Star Wars comic book. So I have one, two, three, and five from when I was actually a kid. I didn't have number four. And uh, 
he made a good point when I bought this, and I already knew it, but uh, when I bought it, he, he was like, you know, one through five was what the movie was based on. And I was like, yeah, the actual, the first five comic books came out before the movie to help push the movie to try to get a voice. And it, they thought the comic book people, guys, would be the ones that really enjoy that movie. And they weren't wrong, but it, it crossed all, everybody. Everybody loves it boys girls men women grandparents i just transcended the culture uh so that's star wars number four now very good and he gave me that uh at a very good price i was very happy with that he remembered seeing me at other shows um there was the reason i go to that one is because there's two guys that do a show that's near me I have not been to that show this summer, so I went down there just to see what they had and if I could get any good deals. I tried to make some trades, didn't work out. Uh, I got this. This was, I showed you on the last one, a, uh, I was in a break and they had one that I had to send in the tops to get back to DeGrom. I did not realize it was number 50. And look at that patch. Look at that patch, kids. And I love DeGrom's auto. And this, is it an on card? It is on card. And the reason I question that, because most of the time when it's a patch auto, they put the sticker so it doesn't damage the card because it's so thick and it's got that compressed boarding in there. Uh, they do that. And I need to get some more one touches. I ran out. So, that'll go on a one touch when I get some more. Very happy with that DeGrom very happy i love this auto very nice i would have loved to have that jersey i saw yesterday um and then the rest of these are going to be ebay this one i purchased nick meyer um just it's his first card uh number to 99 uh i think i paid four dollars shipped so being shipped i probably overpaid but i think it was like what a buck 99 cent um and it's a first bowman did not have this card at all in my collection and that's weird because i bought two boxes i believe of bowman this year so happy to have that in my collection uh this next one i remember i talked about i love the 80s mets so ron darlin number to 76 out of 224 it is a buyback card I took it I, I, the case it was in was an actual old school clamp down it had tops written on the back of it like it was I've never seen that type of case before I don't know what year it's from but it has a numbering system on there so I felt real good that this was all legit I didn't pay a lot for it um I have a system now for for getting cards a little cheaper than what's asking, and it's worked out pretty well. So I got Ron Darling there. Didn't pay a lot for it. Shipped. Uh, man, I think it might even have free shipping on that one. Very good. And then this next one was a lot um, that I bought. Well, he had him selling them one by one. I wanted the... Uh, I really wanted this David Wright right here, number to 30. I hope it really, it's hard to show up. It's not an on card, it is a sticker. Um, I think it's just tops, just regular tops card. Um, but man, it looked, I look, I've never seen this and it was so cool looking. Um, to get this cheaper, a lot of times you want to offer, hey, I'm buying, I'm looking at other stuff on your on your page, on your in your store, and I listed off what I wanted. So what I did was I had him take the price off of the other ones, off of this one, so I can get all of these a little cheaper. So I got I picked this one up, which I'm man, I'm so happy with that David Wright. Beautiful David Wright card. And then again, another 80s met John Franco great reliever Arcas fan favorite autograph 
numbered out of 199. I need, uh, I don't know why I don't have this one in. I, oh, because I, I just got my one touch. Bought some one touches. I bought the 35s yesterday. I got a whole box of those. So that'll go in a one touch. As well as this one. And another David Wright for 300. Again, a sticker auto. I really love on card autos, but. Man, you know, sticker auto, I can get them cheaper. If it's a nice looking card, I'm going to get her. I'm going to get her. I, I love the on cards, but, you know, sometimes you just can't be picky. And a lot of older, it seems, top stuff are going to have the stickers. Keith Hernandez. I'm Keith Hernandez. And this was, I wanted the David Wright, and I saw this, and it was the same seller. So, and this wasn't, I mean, beautiful card, number to 50. And didn't do a good job putting that together, but let's get on the front. And, uh, man, that's a beautiful card. Beautiful card. I love it. And then, of course, when I went and went to the main store and I saw this, it was a no-brainer. I mean, it's not an auto. As you can see, I've been picking up a little bit of material cards. This is from this year's Leather and Lumber series. So, it was really cheap. You know, the, these Leather and Lumber cards are really, really nice. But since it's not uh, licensed cards, they can't have, you know, the Mets on there. It's Gary Carter in New York. He's my favorite player. It's got their colors. You know it's a New York Mets uniform. But it doesn't say Mets. So it was very, very cheap. And I appreciate that. A dual bat material card. Um, so I, I got that one thrown in, basically. <laughs> How you look at it, I either got it for free or not. So that's been my pickups for this week. Please like, share, leave a comment. See what, tell me what you're thinking. Uh, you know, three weeks they buying boxes. As you can see, I kind of capitalized on buying my PC. Uh, really, really nailing that down. And a couple of packs that I picked up basically went in the pile. Uh, just to let you know, uh, I did send in um, 220 cards to COMC. Most of them um, are chrome. Uh, a lot of it is going to be uh, if you're trying to complete team sets or player sets or, you know, your favorite team. But I do have some rookies, and it's a good mixture of stuff. So and that's going to be Big Scott 35 on Comp C. Um, that'll probably be in on next month or so. It'll actually be up. I'll let you know. Uh, and also, I just put a seven-card... Acuna up on on the uh, eBay and that one as well as Big Scott 35. Now Com C Big Scott 35 is spelt with an I and not a one because I've had that one a while. So I've bought some cards with them. Um, so with that, please subscribe, like, share, leave a comment on uh, any thoughts that you have and. Uh, Get those packs out and get to ripping. See ya.